Hi everyone and welcome to the next cast of the ICGC 2011 Championship. We have Emnu and Shape and as casters we have a big surprise. We have our dear Iron and his last name is censored because sponsors don't like his last name. And joining him uh. is his girlfriend uh, all the way Dude, down from India, <laughs> in, in from Bangalore, Karthik Gopal. Hey, I'm not his girlfriend. First of all, he prefers men, which still doesn't make me his girlfriend. And this is not relevant to the cast, actually. But there is a Zerg player, so <laughs> no. he's probably gay. We don't know. Hey, Gautam, I hope you play Zerg. Are you people's... gay? Okay. Actually, hmm, <laughs> I'm not. You're not. I don't okay. know where you're getting this from. Not all Zerg players are Zerg. I've been gay. Are so... gay, you mean? That's okay. just. Well, let's stay out gay, of this. Let's not make gay jokes. You know what? The thing is, some some people might have gay friends, and that's fine. As long as everything it, it works for them, why not? Yeah, I do. Why don't I mean, we get into uh, the game? Yeah. Overload is clearly coming up to the base. So <laughs> now it looks pretty exciting. Weird yeah, scouting pattern. Like, really known. Has he just walked straight to the? Okay, it's MLG. No wonder. So he went straight for the farthest space, and now he realizes. And doesn't bring his drone back. His drone is still all right. Hunting, hunting in the wrong yeah, I think for yeah, right. I think for guys who are new to the game, generally MLG Metalopus has uh, it doesn't have the close spawn, which is basically if you spawn at the bottom, nobody will spawn on the same side on the top. Uh, it's usually cross position, and actually, Shape has not scouted uh, um, the Overlord yet, uh, but he did send his probe across, I guess. And they're doing the annoying pylon block thing, but Mnu has gone spawning pool first already. So, Gautam, what are your thoughts on this? Um, what do you generally open with on this map? And what is it that you like facing? What is it that you don't like facing? Everybody knows Protoss is the weakest race, but besides that, um, generally, what do you do? Well, I always, uh, even though it's not preferred, I like to go FE first, but... Uh in this case, it is safe to go pool first because he saw the probe actually in his base already. So there's no way he was going to let an ex expo go down. And he still tried after his pool to put down an expo, but clearly it was blocked. So it, it is a little annoying because your drones can't, like even, you have to pull down like six drones to take out that pylon, which is not worth it, of course. So you have to wait till your spawning pool is done. You get a couple of zerglings out. But you know what? Mm -hmm. The thing is, you don't have to take this as a disadvantage. Uh, Protoss users might feel like, okay, you know what, I have blocked this hatch, I have an advantage. It's not the case. You can still go ahead and do your normal like one base opening and go into speedling expand or just in this case he's not doing speedling expand because he's not looking to get gas. But you can understand like these, these links would take it out and he can still expand at 21. And it puts him at mm -hmm. the same spot. It's, well, look, I think it's... Well, look. I'm sorry to interrupt, but look what he's done. He's actually said, you know what, that's going to take too long. I'm just going to get my third as my second, and I'm going to do that right now. While my little zerglings go and crash into the pylon, and what I would have done as my third expand is actually going to be my second base. Because I oh, bet wow. he's, he's got 400 minerals stocked up, and they'll all go and be deployed into the third hatchery right now. Yeah, actually, I think this is a mistake. Uh, generally, what happens is after the Protoss is expanded is when usually the Zerg should take the third base. Uh, but he's not even saturated his second. He's just put a third. And he's actually taken his, well, technically his second base, but it's placed in third area much faster than his second. Uh, and it'll probably finish much earlier. And I think this can be probably attributed to because he's a bronze level player. But... Um, the Not very interestingly, doing, but yeah, uh, but actually, even if you look at the Protoss side, Shape has gotten two zealots, um, and then he's getting a sentry. Generally, uh, this could be because he's probably afraid of a link busting. But generally, as a Protoss player, what you do is you get a zealot first, and you did you'd get about seven to eight sentries. And depending on the position of the Zerg, in this case, the position of the Zerg being quite closer, you generally get more sentries. And now you see that he scouted the Zerg. He s finds that there's no speed. I think speed finishes about uh, 5.45, 6. Is that correct? I think so. Yeah, but Something look at the time, that. and it's not halfway done. 
yeah, that's it's because he started it substantially slower. But there's an interesting part here. So what if you uh, look at the kind of vision, vision that the shape has? He has no idea about the double X plan. Correct. He's, he's, he's doing his standard build. He's, it's 640. It's about the time that he should be expanding. He's thinking of a forge expand. He has no idea what's going on. Uh, and the longer that this build keep go, it keeps going for Emnu, the stronger he is going to be. So I'm, I'm just worried that because of such a big commitment into two hatcheries, he might not have enough uh, of units to fight a timing push here. Actually, if you look at, yeah, even if you look at the drone count and the probe count, you'll find that this guy's got 34 drones. Um, and he did scout a stalker and a sentry, and he found two gases as well. But he's not seen the expand go up from the Protoss' side. So um, he, I think, uh, feels relatively safe in uh, moving and taking third expand. But the bigger problem is that he's making links of his third base. Uh, and he has no roaches when he when he has seen stalkers. Generally, what you do is, uh, while you'd mass on links, you know that he's got sentries, uh, which are going to force field the hell out of your links. And basically, you'll, you'd lack the surround. But So you'd need some sort of a range support unit. And actually, the best range support unit, um, I would say, uh, especially in terms of being most cost effective, is probably the roach, which he hasn't gotten. He has got an evolution chamber. He's... Attacking melee attacks, which is quite interesting, but uh, I don't think it's going to be that effective here. Especially around, I think, the 8 to 8.5 minute mark is when um, Zerg is probably a little bit weaker after they just set in the expansion. And the problem with Ennu here is that he set two expansions. Generally, you'd be taking your third expansion around the 10 minute mark. Uh, that is starting it at that point of time. Uh, and clearly, there's an economic disadvantage here. Um, but the Protoss is stacking on tons of gas, and I don't know why. I don't know why he got four gases. There's no requirement, even if he's going for a sixth gate push. Uh, he's not building units that have gas specifically. So I don't know what exactly the strategy is. Uh, uh, he's going for five, four, five gates. There's five gates. He's researching uh, ground weapons. So he's probably looking for a timing push, uh, probably about the 10 to 11 minute mark. But all... Zerg is doing is just building things. Am I talking to myself? Is somebody there? Hello. Second gas. The Zerg has even got. Like, I'm just looking at the mistakes the Zerg is making. He just got his mm -hmm. Roach Warren finish. The thing is, if you're seeing the Protoss has expanded, you can even expect his first push to come around nine minutes. His okay. six gate all in, you're <coughs> expecting at around nine minutes. At least you, you know, try to scout if he has more gates or try to scout what his army comp is. Uh, mm -hmm. Zerg hasn't done anything like that and uh, just looking at his production tab right now and he's still not making any he's still okay he got like six roaches now but it's too late I think it's just too late I don't think he can produce enough if, if the Protoss were to push out right now okay which he is which he is correct the, the no, I think I think the biggest really mistake useless. was mm -hmm. no, it was also pretty much he shouldn't have done what he did pretty much yeah, if you no, look at the national, he's got a spore crawler. When he sh needn't have gotten knows, back, he could have got. He knows that it's a, it's a hallucination. You know he... Well, you know what the thing is, I've I don't know. Did you guys ever place in bronze in your life? Yeah, we did. I mean, I started as a bronze player, and I remember overreacting. And this is also a very important point. I think that most players should look into. Uh, generally, what happens is when okay, he's pushing in, and I think this. Yeah is going to be game over. All you need is four force fields or five, which shape is not doing. I don't know why. He probably doesn't need to do the best, because the best part is he's actually scouted this. <laughs> well, uh, interestingly enough, uh, if you look at the timing, it's eleven twenty-five on the screen right now, and uh, the entire uh, map is covered with just Protoss moving out and Zerg defending. And uh, this is as, over. A, as a bronze uh, level player, we just, it is something which is great to learn from the bigger players. Um, not overreacting, not going and uh, just winging it every time, but have certain builds which you're ready with at any given time. So he was, I believe he lost the game when he uh, double-passed expanded at the game start. 
Yeah, I think. Um, well, actually, technically, you know, if we um, if we had like what generally protesters do nowadays is to get uh, more stalkers and then go into a blink uh, movement, and then depending on what the Zerg does, they get uh, the rest of the units. Uh, but what he must have done, actually, those four hundred minerals that he had expanded into, could have well been used for spine crawlers um, and possibly. Uh, more roaches, and it was strange because Whoa. he actually got the gas. Oh, this is just brutal! Wow, this is brutal. Oh, I feel so bad for the Zerg there. Yeah. Oh man, that was. That was a relatively short game, which was about, what, 15 minutes? So generally we should have seen two timing attacks and defend, but it was just one blown out attack and he actually forced field at the time, like preventing himself from going to the Zerg base. So he was kind of... That was, that was, was a funny he was, kind of, he was very sweet in the last, yeah. <laughs> he was like, okay dude, I'll just basically screw you over, but let's not get too brutal about this. Yeah, Guys, what would your recommendations would be for this Zerg player? He's bronze, you know what? The thing is, of course, this is a diamond versus bronze. And as a bronze player, I think he did really well, though. For a bronze player, that this is really good. Like, he had his expos going, he had more drone counts in the beginning. He was lagging behind. He shouldn't have made that many circlings. Uh, and knowing the fact that Protoss had a forge jump already, maybe he should have went for uh, defense upgrade first. His, uh, But, like, what do you guys recommend? See, generally, I think, uh, at least from my point of view, when I started out as a bronze player, um, I had watched a lot of replays, and I can pretty much understand his reaction, because this is something that I used to do, where I would mix the strategy first and then not concentrate on the mechanics. So I think the first thing he should do is actually concentrate on the mechanics and do very simple things. Like, the problem with him was he expanded twice, he got an evolution chamber, he thought too many steps ahead uh, when he actually didn't scout for all of these things. So it was like, you know, uh, oh, I see a Phoenix hallucination. I actually think it's a Phoenix, so he's probably gone Stargate. So I'll get an evolution chamber, boom. And he gets a spoke crawler. And he's like, okay, oh, I see the Protoss get starting on a defensive way. So we like counter expand. The problem is when he did both of these things, which are technically good moves to do strategically, the problem is you're supposed to complement it with the relative mechanics and also a force field strategy so if you are expanding twice especially on a map like metal where you're basically open wide right there's there's no choke point where you can support with either roaches or queens or you know stuff, stuff like that and you know the protoss has force fields he can just you know force field all around you and basically you're screwed then uh, there's no movement so what i'd recommend for him uh, would be to first take an expansion, uh, get speed first, move into a couple of roaches and scout exactly when the Protoss is moving out. Because from, you know, it, it takes about, um, I would say, 35 to 40 seconds. You know what? I'm, I'm, I, I would like to go recommend uh, that we will have this conversation in the next uh, game. game. Okay. We only have 15 minutes with uh, YouTube and we are about over on that time. Cool.